Welcome to this Solid Edge Tips and Tricks video, Steering Wheel. Solid Edge with synchronous technology transcends the barriers of traditional history-based modeling and is more predictable than explicit modeling. The steering wheel is an integral component of synchronous technology, allowing you to directly manipulate 3D model geometry. Using the steering wheel, you can move or rotate 2D and 3D geometry you have selected. The steering wheel is intuitive and easy to use, with powerful options that can be leveraged. Let's take a look. First of all, let's examine the anatomy of the steering wheel. The origin knob is used to define the reference point when moving. You can use the origin knob to reposition the steering wheel to another location on the model. The transparent blue circle in the center of the steering wheel is the tool plane. The tool plane can be used to reorient the steering wheel or to move selected geometry in a plane rather than a single direction. Axes are used to move elements in the respective directions, while the knob at the end of an axis is used to reorient the axis in a new direction. The torus can be used to rotate elements about a selected axis. All elements of the steering wheel, when used together, allow you to explore the powerful functionality of synchronous technology. Let's see this in action. By selecting a face to edit, the steering wheel is activated. By default, only the axis and origin knob on the steering wheel appear. By clicking on the axis, you can easily pull the faces in that direction without concern for the order in which the faces were originally created. The design intent ensures that symmetric faces are also affected. More on design intent in another video. To rotate selected faces, reorient the steering wheel using shift click on the semi transparent tool plane so that the torus is aligned to the plane of rotation. You can see that the steering wheel also snaps into key points and orients automatically. By shift clicking on the origin and dragging the steering wheel, its orientation is preserved. Modifier keys can also be used. In this case, holding the control key while dragging the axis copies the geometry. By using key points, you can accurately position the geometry to create a new hole. You can see that the steering wheel is a powerful tool without any additional effort. But there's more. By default, the steering wheel aligns with the selected geometry, and this may not always be desirable. To accurately rotate the steering wheel into the desired position, shift click on the end knob to allow it to rotate in the tool plane. Mouse position can also be used to input the inferred angle if you want. Rotate the steering wheel to the required angle and use it to make your intended modifications. The steering wheel can also be oriented in all X, Y, and Z directions. With the steering wheel in position, you can shift and drag the axis bearings. Additionally, when the focus is in the dimension edit box, key in a precise angle. After setting the first angle, drag again from the other axis to set the compound angle. Finally, this is how the steering wheel is used to move the geometry to a set distance from other geometry or from a reference point. First, the steering wheel is indexed to set distance from the face being moved. Then shift, click the axis and key in 12 millimeters. Click once to set the offset distance. Now select the axis and drag it to a key point on the reference geometry. In this example, we will add a 3D dimension to show that the distance is in fact 12 millimeters. Following these techniques will allow you to take full advantage of the steering wheel's capability and more easily take advantage of all that synchronous technology within Solid Edge has to offer.